Hey guys, in today's video I will be covering the responsiveness of the playlists and what I mean by that is if you look on the Spotify website and you bring the window down it removes one of these um, playlist cards and then it re-adds it if you bring it back up. This is actually the second time I'm recording this because my loom app which I used to record broke so hopefully it works this time and that's why I haven't got my camera on. But the way I was thinking of doing it is to calculate the width of this container and then divide it by the width of each of the playlist cards. And then that should leave us with a number of how many playlist cards can fit onto the screen. So before I do that, I just want to actually do a few tweaks to our styling, um, to our playlist div. And I know I have to do this because I just did this earlier. I want to change the outer wrapper, which is card wrap in there, from flex to grid. And I also want to take a look at this. What did is it? I just also want to have this grid gap 16 pixels and then this min and max set up. Um, let's see where that is. So it's going to be a minimum width of 164 pixels and it's also going to add 16 pixels on top which is going to be 180 pixels. If you want to read more about the grid I'll leave a link in the description for you. And let's have a look. We also want to remove our width and height and also a margin right from the card. And now this looks a lot more like Spotify's. And if we go back to our code, go to the categories component, I first want to fetch the, the properties of this div. And to do that, I want to use the use ref hook. So if I just import that at the top, use ref, then on this main inner element, I just want to do ref equals curly braces, and I just want to say main inner ref. I just want to declare it at the top equals use ref. And if I now console log this and inspect the page. I've also added additional um, playlists here just so we can um, just see how it works. And it gives us this object and within this object we can actually access the properties such as width and height of each of the elements we've referenced. So firstly I just want to use use effect this is going to allow us to essentially run code after our component is rendered. So after this is rendered, we want to execute any code that's in here. And I want to do comma and then empty brackets at the end because I only want this to run once. And I want to assign a, an event listener. This event listener is going to check for the resize. So if the, win if the window changes in size, we want to trigger the function. So we want a function to pass through. And we also want to remove event listener if it's no longer needed. Say we go to a totally different part of our application, which doesn't have this component. So to begin with, let's just build the function. We want to say handle window resize equals arrow function. And let's just console log main in a ref dot current. And then it's, I think it's get um, I missed the T, so hopefully this should work now. 
and it's given us the width of the outer container. And I want this to trigger every single time I resize the window. So let's just do window to add event list now, resize, and let's call this function. And then let's just do return window dot remove event listener and let's pass it through the same parameters so resize and handle window resize function and within here we need to do the calculation and before we do that we're going to want to bring in state because we want somewhere to store this data so i'm going to do use state and at the top i want to do const limiter and set limiter equals use state and i set it to zero to begin with we don't have to do that but i just want to and now for our calculation we're going to want to take the width and we're going to want to divide it by 180 pixels as we know that's the sort of width of the padding, the margin, and the element. So let's just do set in there. Set limiter. Let's just do a variable called We'll divide that by 180. And now, because as you see, it's got a long um, number which we don't need, we want it to be an integer. So I just want to round it off by doing math.floor. This is going to round it down because, of course, we'd rather it be like slightly smaller, the number be smaller than have too many playlists showing. And then we just want to set limiter. I know I just removed that, but let's add it again. Do set limiter calculation. And we've now set the state so we can actually take this limiter and we can pass it through as a playlist as a prop on the playlist component. And if we go into our playlist component, we can console log props.limiter, you've seen I done this earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's actually showing eight. So I think our calculation is slightly wrong. Let's try 195, let's add 15 pixels on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's bring it down. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> so we now should be able to just slice the end of this filter. We start off at zero because we wanted to begin at the start, and we pass it through the props.limiter. And now we should show us the correct amount. See, it's not as perfect as Spotify's, but I think it works well. This might not be the most optimized way of doing it because I'm actually passing through um, the data, the, the state on the playlist component each time. And I don't know if that's necessary. This might not actually happen in the... Uh, if we were doing it with an API call, because we might be passing through all the playlist data into the component instead. But at this stage, it works. If anybody knows a better way of handling it, please leave a comment below and we can just I can just go through it, and then I can add it to the code and go through it in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit subscribe and hit the like button. 
It helps me out a lot and it helps the videos get seen by other people. Thank you.